Hello guys, it's Mike on here. I've got a, I've got a Ultimate Team Hybrid for you today. It's the first video of its kind. It's the first video on my channel, more than likely. So it's a very strong. It's got some informs in, and uh, I hope to bring it to you right now. So let's start off with the goalkeeper. First of all, we've got Sam Samir Handanovic in goal for you. He's a he's a monster in goal, basically. Over my personal opinion of him, he's, he's very good at one-on-one -on -one situations. Like he can make himself absolutely massive against a striker, but other stuff, oh, he can be a letdown. At centre centre back, we've got Inform Walter Samuel, an absolute monster at centre back. This 89 defending, I think that is. It says there, it shows so much. At the end of the video, I've got some clips of some of his tackles. It's insane. To the left of him, we've got. Per, per, peria, per, per area, however, however people say it. Basically, he's known he's known for being quick, uh, like a quick, sweaty centre back. But his tackles are very good. He's very strong as well. Ru anyone running against him, he can nine times out of ten will get back in goal side of them, in be in between them and the ball, and do the do the business. On the right of Samuel, we've got I we have a choice here because they both get nine chemistry at the end. You can either have Campagnaro or Giroud. My personal choice is Campagnaro. His his defending stats and his heading stats are just they're just superior to Giroud. But you can you can swap about with Giroud if you want if you want to make the team look more of a hybrid rather than just a Serie A and a Bundesliga team, which it probably will end up looking like. So. I'm just going to compare the stats here. Six foot four Giroud though. He's, he's, you'd think he'd be good in the air, but he's not all that, if I'm honest. So I'll put him on the bench for now. So, at right mid, we have Shakiri. Four star weak foot, four star skills. He's he doesn't feel that strong in game, but I've, in real life he should definitely have more strength, which would make him an all-round better right mid, as he is, an, he is an animal down that wing. He is so good. On right defensive mid, we've got Gokan Inla in form. He is one of my favourite defensive mids in the game. He's just, he's just all-round good, and he's just, yeah. So on the left of him as well. We've got Freddy Guarin. He is, uh, he's a very close second to in the, on my favourite defensive mids. He's just so good at absolutely everything. You can play him anywhere in the in the centre mid role. So you have got defensive mid, centre mid, attacking mid, any of those positions he'll fit perfectly. Now we've got Zuniga. That two star weak foot does let him down a little bit. It's it's difficult to run down the wing with him and get a cross in as he is right footed as well. So you find yourself cutting back and, and nine times out of ten, I've got to say, he will lose the ball. So it's unfortunate. But he links up with Pereira and Guarin. Now at attacking mid, we've got a choice of two again. We've got Mario Goetze, who is um, in real life an up and coming star, he's so young and just so good, the same as Tony Cruz actually, but I know a lot of people aren't going to like Tony Cruz because of that that one stat that everyone seems to love, is that pace stat, but look at that 5 star week foot, uh, I, I just love him for that, I put him in over over the top of Goethe, because of that 5 star week foot, his long shots are in, Tony Cruz's long shots are just insane. You, you get any any amount of room. Granted, it's just a little bit of work to get some room, but any amount of room, and you're gonna you're gonna threaten the goal. Now, this guy right here, Marco Royce, he is unbelievable. One of my favourite strikers in the game. Just so clinical in front of goal. He's quick. He's strong. He can jump. He's just all round very good. Now, Lucas Podolski, right striker. He is one of the most overpowered, overrated strikers on the game I would probably say. That left foot is just oh, it's astonishing how good that left foot is. But that two star weak foot does let him down again. So here we go, we've got Arnautovic who will also fit in there in replace of Podolski if need be. 
So it, it's your choice really, you can either put Podolski in there, you, well to be fair any Bundesliga striker will fit in with Podolski, they all get nine chemistry, linking up with Tony Cruz, Gertzart and Ruiz, so that's not a problem. Arnautovic with his four star weak foot, four star skill, six foot four, 80 pace I believe it is, oh, he's such, he's, he's a very good striker, I loved him on the last FIFA, I love him on this FIFA. I haven't, I haven't yet tried out his informed right, right mid card I think it is, but I'm, I'm excited to do that when I can. So here we go, that's basically the team guys, we just, uh, that you, you'll see the team cost adding up at the bottom, I think it turns out to be about 160k, um, and there we go, we just add the manager, there you go, 160,650 coins, and that is before the market crash that happened in January. And that's basically it. So now you're just going to see some clips of me playing with the team. I'm just going to find, go through the team here one more time, so you can have a quick look. But yeah, at the end, at the end of this, you'll see some clips of every, hopefully every player. I tried to get a lot of clips of everyone doing what they do best. You'll see some tackles and some saves and some goals. So I hope you enjoyed this video and like rate subscribe please do all of that um i've got some more videos coming more hybrids different hybrids strong hybrids and uh i've got some ideas for some videos but thank you guys like rate subscribe all that and this is mike on and i'll see you guys later good pass The significance is that they're in front. We've had a huge amount of build-up for this guy. And he goes on goal. Made good contact there with the header, and on the ball goes. Here's a chance, and he lets fly here. They score. I don't think there's any way back for the opposition with the margin now as wide as this. No, they really are looking so here. A goal! Wonderful effort! Still... To get into more advanced positions, they're going to press higher up the pitch, the home team. He's got space! It's going to be easy for the keeper to collect. What a chance! Well, he has a go! Well, the keeper got a touch! Oh, it's a shame. Rice! Team there. Marco Royce. Something could be on here. What a hit! And there it is, the equaliser. What a chance here. Takes the shot off. And it's a goal. It is a goal, and it was coming. Well, sometimes as a keeper, if you're having a bad day, you're made to pay. Here's the cross. Well, it wasn't the difficult. He's given that everything. What a goal! And he has put that where it's impossible for the goalkeeper to reach it, right up into the top corner. Yeah, a couple of keepers wouldn't have got a hand on that. Might need more back here to curb this piece of attacking play. Got to get more men behind. Seen the chance! A goal! They're turning on the style now with two goals in very quick succession. Well, it looked an easy take, didn't it? But the hard part is anticipating. Will work that throw in routine. They've lost the ball. Could be a... Goes for goal! And he scores! Well, that might just settle it, Alan. It's a big goal for them. I think they're out of sight. I think so. There's a golfing class out here this afternoon. Very nearly home and hose.